This is really what it's all about, right? The Olympics, sharing stories that are inspiring of the athletes from close to home and around the world. Of course, we are celebrating sports of all kinds during this two week period. But tonight we want to introduce you to the star athlete who's right here in our own backyard. You've probably never heard of her, though. Lyndhurst resident Diane Friedman holds multiple world records in track and field, but she didn't discover her passion for running until much later in life. Mike Polk Jr. has her story. Go. Diane Friedman turned 100 years old this month, but not much can slow her down. Woo. And for as active as she is on the track, she's even quicker in conversation. Is there any secret to the fro? Is it like throwing a football? Well, I don't throw footballs. Okay. As I soon learned during our recent encounter at Beechwood High School. Just think about your hand and think about where you want to hit. That was better. No, no, that was good because you went almost straight with the line. Where was this kind of encouragement when I was young for my parents and I was failing at athletics? I don't know. You just weren't around. My, my, my parents either, they didn't want me to do that. They didn't want you to? No. Why not? Because it's nice, it's not nice for a girl. Remarkably, it wasn't until she was in her 70s that Diane started running competitively, and not until her 90s that she began breaking multiple world records in track and field. She currently holds three world sprinting records at the 100 meters, 200, and 400 meters in outdoor track. and in indoor track, she holds the United States records in the 60 meter dash and the 200 meter dash. And these records are in the 95 to 99 year old women's age group. Bruce Sherman, an exercise physiologist and assistant coach here at Beechwood, has been training Diane for the past five years. They've become good friends. 10, 11, 12. Is it difficult in that age group? What's the competition like? Uh, the clock. <laughs> because I've never been to a meet with her where she has had age group competition. Her records are gonna be around for a long while. I would not be here without him. He's a good coach. Great. And a good, good guy? Great. It's only an hour, twice a week, I can stand him. <laughs> In fact, they maintain their training routine despite the many challenges of COVID. Last year, a lot of seniors had trouble during the pandemic. Loneliness, isolation, not having a lot to do. Did this help her through, do you think? We really didn't miss a step because we were able to adapt our workouts. Bruce credits good genes and a good attitude for Diane's remarkable feats at her age. She certainly gave me a run for my money on the track. I'm done. That's all I got. Pass the number. Oh, got to go past the numbers. I'm sorry. Through. Okay. I didn't know that. Sorry. That's the end line. That's the end line. I yeah. Know. yeah. You did fine. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I, it felt okay, but. You really took off on me there. And of course, we couldn't pass up the chance to see if she had it in her to break yet another world record. Go. Let's go. Let's run. Right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Almost there! Yeah. You got it, Diane! Yeah. 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 yeah! Part of history. How do you feel? You just broke a world record. How do you feel about that? Great. What are these records, the fact that you hold these records, what does that mean to you? Not much. I'm sorry, I just think there's more to it than you're giving it credit for. You are one of the area's most decorated athletes. You're up there with LeBron James. I mean, you are up there as far as being recognized for your athletic talent. I like you. <laughs> Do you have anything else that you would like to say to anybody who might be watching this to inspire them? I would just say you'll feel better and you'll make a couple friends. Tell a friend, come on, what are you doing? Let's go for a walk. So next time you're feeling uninspired and you're thinking about skipping the gym that day, remember there's a champion in our own backyard who's still breaking new records. A champion who was born when Warren G. Harding was in office. If that doesn't get you off the couch, perhaps nothing will. You got it, Diane! Go, Diane. Go, Diane. Yeah! This is Mike Polk, still a little winded for 3 News.